During the month of June, we observe National Safety Month. In this video, we will be presenting a list of important safety measures to ensure the well-being of both personnel and equipment in UPS battery rooms. It's crucial to ensure that the battery room has adequate ventilation. This prevents the buildup of hydrogen gas, which is produced during battery charging. Proper ventilation helps dissipate gases and reduces the risk of explosion or fire. You must strictly prohibit any open flames, smoking, or potential sources of ignition in or around the battery room. Hydrogen gas is highly flammable, and if ignited, it can lead to dangerous situations. To enhance safety, it is important to install fire prevention equipment, such as smoke detectors and fire extinguishers, in and near the battery room. Regular inspections and proper maintenance of these devices are essential to ensure they function properly when needed. It's necessary to clearly mark the battery room with appropriate warning signs. These signs indicate the presence of batteries, potential hazards, and emergency contact information. By raising awareness, we can ensure that individuals are cautious while entering the room. When handling batteries, it's vital to provide and enforce the use of proper personal protective equipment. This includes safety glasses, gloves, and acid-resistant clothing. PPE protects against acid spills, corrosive materials, and other potential hazards. Implementing spill containment measures is crucial. Acid-resistant flooring and spill containment trays help prevent leaks and spills from spreading. Promptly clean up any spills or leaks using appropriate materials and procedures. Regular maintenance and inspections of a battery room and its equipment are essential. We need to check for loose connections, signs of corrosion, and any other issues that may compromise safety. By addressing these issues promptly, we maintain a safe environment. It's vital to follow manufacturer guidelines and recommended charging procedures for UPS batteries. Overcharging or improper charging can lead to battery damage, thermal runaway, and other potential hazards. Thorough training should be provided to all personnel working in or around the battery room. This training should cover potential hazards, emergency procedures, proper handling techniques, and the use of safety equipment. Establishing clear emergency procedures is crucial. All personnel should be familiar with evacuation routes, emergency shutdown protocols, and designated assembly areas in case of an emergency. Access to the battery room should be limited to authorized personnel only. This measure helps prevent unauthorized individuals from entering the room and ensures that those entering are trained and aware of the associated risks. Regular inspections of the battery room, batteries, electrical connections, and associated equipment are essential. Any signs of damage or deterioration should be promptly addressed to maintain a safe environment. This National Safety Month, it's important to remember that consulting local regulations, industry standards, and following manufacturer guidelines specific to your battery system are crucial for a comprehensive approach to safety. It is also highly recommended to consult with a battery professional relating to UPS battery room safety. Alpine Power Systems, a nationwide critical power solution provider, offers comprehensive safety audits for battery rooms across the U.S. Visit alpinepowersystems.com to learn more.